Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you, gentlemen, because we've got the first image, the first image of the moon from Chandrayaan 2. Chandrayaan 2 has beamed its very first image. And that there it is on your screen right now. Seeing it first on times now where Chandrayaan has beamed back to Earth the very first image that it has got. It's a matter of huge pride for the country. The second mission by India to explore the moon, Chandrayaan 2, has completed its first day in its new orbit around the moon. And now is when it has sent back this image. Let me get more information from Hina right now. Yes, Hina. This is the first uh, picture that ISRO has managed to get, the first image of moon, and uh, this is the result of India's moon mission 2, uh, Chandrayaan 2. And ISRO, in fact, has confirmed as well that this first moon image was captured by Chandrayaan 2's Vikram lander, taken at a height of about 2,650 kilometers from lunar surface on 21st of August 2019. And there you can see ISRO has identified craters as well and remember uh, uh, following this mission India is exploring southern pole of moon which no other country Padmaja has done so far and that is the reason why this mission is extremely critical uh, for India and a big achievement as well for ISRO as well who have worked really hard for this indigenously developed uh, uh, you know uh, instrument that was used uh, for this moon mission part 2 uh, and it clearly also suggest to us that uh, it is able to meet all its timelines and uh, now hopefully by 6th and 7th we are likely to see uh, this mission uh, getting completed. Uh, the Chandrayaan 2 will be officially landing on the southern pole of uh, the moon, the south polar region that is the Vikram lander site and it's very very close. It's just 2,650 kilometers away from there. This is what ISRO has told us from where this picture has been taken by Vikram Lander. Now on 6th or 7th of September, the landing is going to happen and that is something that uh, is going to make all of us proud as Indians as far as our space achievements are concerned. And with this, India will also become the only fourth nation in the world to actually land on moon like this. And it looks so easy on television, but the fact is each step of Chandrayaan 2, extremely complex, extremely nail-biting, but good news so far. Everything has gone smoothly. Well, absolutely. You remember when first time the mission was uh, supposed to be launched, it got delayed and that created a lot of panic among uh, the uh, scientists as well who worked so hard for this Chandrayaan 2, a very, very ambitious mission of India to land on the South Polar region of Moon. But when it got delayed, when it was supposed to happen uh, 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 during midnight, it, it got delayed by a few days. But after that, uh, the ISRO scientists managed managed to rectify that little problem that they faced and then despite the delay they are ensuring that it reaches uh, the South Polar region of Moon on time. So the window for this kind of a mission was very, very narrow. And despite that, uh, the scientists at ISRO made all efforts. And with indigenous technology, they have ensured that uh, you know the mission is completed not just in time, but it follows proper procedures as well. Now it is uh, moving up as per its normal speed. And uh, now we are being told that it has already successfully completed one of the four orbital maneuvers around the moon and after that only we have got this first image of moon from Vikram the lander and uh, now uh, on 6th or 7th it's going to be the final day when India's very own Chandrayaan 2 okay. will be putting its steps uh, its foot on the, the south polar region of the moon and it is going to be a big achievement for a country like India. Okay, thanks very much, uh, Hina, for joining us with those details.